Welcome back to the Zoom Playground. I'm your host, Betsy Sabatini, your go-to expert for all things Zoom and beyond. Today, we're tackling a common challenge, how to resend confirmation emails to your meeting registrants. That's right, a Zoom meeting can have registration and you can easily go in and select all the people who have registered and send them a confirmation email. So join me as I walk you through the simple steps to resend confirmation emails directly from your Zoom account, ensuring that no attendee is left in the dark. From accessing your registration settings to customizing email confirmation, I'm going to show you everything you need to know to improve your communication process. Don't miss out on this essential tutorial. Oh, and hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you never miss one of my updates from the Zoom Playground. Let's go take a look. So from your Zoom web portal, you're going to go to meetings. You see there on the left-hand sidebar. And then to resend the registration emails, you need to click on the meeting that has the registration. So you're just gonna click on the title and on the next screen, notice across the top from left to right where you see details and then registration and email settings and branding and polls and quizzes and survey and live streaming. This is all of the information that can be set up for a Zoom meeting before it even starts. And since you set up registration for this, all of the registrations have been coming in prior to even the start of the meeting, which is really good about this because you can see who's interested to come even before it starts. Once you click on registration, you can see how many people have registered. And then all the way over on the right-hand side, it says view. That's where you're going to see a list of the people. Now, before we go in there, I just want you to notice that also the settings that you have chosen for your registration are confirmed for you here. So you can see that you will be getting an email every time someone registers. It will close the registration after the meeting date. You can allow people to join from multiple devices so they can join from a computer and a mobile device. It will not show your social share buttons on that registration page, and it will show the join information on the registration confirmation page. So these are all settings that you can turn on or off at the time that you're setting up your meeting. So now let's take a look all the way over here on the right where it says view. You're going to go ahead and click there, and that's going to bring up the list of people that have been clicking on your link to come and register for your event. And if you look at the top here, there's some options for you where you can resend a confirmation email. Now that button is going to light up when you choose the names of the people. And if you're in here because someone said to you, hey, I didn't get my email. Could I get another email, please? You could just find them in the list, click on their name, and then you see how the button is lit up now. When you click there, they will get another email from Zoom, not from you. It'll have the title of your event, but please inform them that the email confirmation is coming from Zoom. That's how they'll see it in their email inbox. I would tell you, though, that make it a best practice to come in here and choose that checkbox at the top of the checkbox column because that selects everybody in the list. But it only selects everybody on page one. So you see how I have three pages or more of registrants? If that is the same scenario for you, you're going to need to do this one page at a time. So select everybody on page one, click the button to resend confirmation. It'll give you a notification that that was done. And then you're going to go to page two and you'll notice that all the boxes are unchecked because page two has to be done separately. So when you click the check box at the top of the column for page two, you're going to repeat the process, resend the confirmation email. And then everybody will be getting a fresh, brand new confirmation email with the join link. It's a beautiful thing. When you're done, just click close at the bottom here and that's how you, you close that section. And then you can go right back to your meetings or go onto your settings or whatever you need to do. All right, good luck with that. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you are still here with me at the end, then you must be really interested in Zoom and what it can do for you and your business. 
Well, lucky for you, I have free resources that you should definitely take a look at. These free downloadable checklists and guides guarantee that your Zoom is set up for success before your meeting even starts. For more information, click the link in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and watch the next one. Again, I'm Betsy Sabatini. I'm your Zoom expert and tech educator. See you next time.